Hello girls, guys, or otherwise, this is Rich with a special report. When you are seeing this, I'm actually in Dover already. However, I have something important to announce. Um, now, if you're seeing this, you've probably also already watched um, the... Excuse you, Miss Jelly. You have probably already seen... Jelly's up on boxes here. Yeah. And uh, we're just going to ignore that because, uh, yeah, I'm trying to make at least three videos. Probably try for four, but can't guarantee Terror Talk Tuesday's going to, um, going to be made in time. Uh, and by the time you see this, you'll know whether or not it has been. But, uh... I don't know if it really feels right to post a Terror Talk Tuesday video before Winnie's um, farewell video. So, if I don't post it, you know why. And those are my reasonings, and that's where I stand on it. And uh, I hope that you will respect that. I'm sure many of you will totally understand what I'm, where I'm coming from on this. Anyway, um, so if you watched Witchy Wednesday, you know that I have done my ritual. I actually still, you can see the candlelight. I still have the pink candle burning here, uh, and that I will burn that until it's all the way down. Uh, this is actually a party light candle, so, I mean, this lasts about maybe an hour or two, uh, but yeah, you know, I, I don't use my party light candles that often. I'm just, this is just a random, um, uh, talk video. And eventually I'll get to the point of this video in, in its entirety. But, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just burn that down until it's all the way gone. <sighs> How y'all doing? <laughs> This has been a, a quite a week here. Um, I'm, again, filming this on Sunday. It's uh, almost one week. So it's, it's hitting hard. But anyway, what I was trying to say is if you've already seen the Witchy Wednesday video, I've told you about the, the dream that I had with Winnie in it. And it was very impactful. And made my next decision a lot easier. To give you some background, uh, I, and this is something that I don't often talk about, um, I mean, anxiety and all that I do talk about. I have anxiety and a little bit of depression, not as to the extent of others, admittedly. Um, and I also have some PTSD and whatnot. Um, not really from a war zone, oddly enough, but from a work situation while down in Florida. Uh, not, nothing that was bodily harming to me, but uh, things that happened that put me in a very stressful situation. And any time that I am in a similar situation, I have similar reactions. Um, to where I I get very like uh, self centered, uh, or I I kind of cloister up into myself, and I just like retract everything, and I just I need to be by myself and very introverted. Um, and my partner also he has um he he has issues in his or her his own to um to tell you about if he ever comes on here and wants to discuss them but i originally wanted to get winnie as an emotional support animal primarily for him but um also for myself and you know emotional support animals um they just need to love on you for one but also, just to be there in case you're having issues dealing with whatever. And just to be there and just be a comfort to you. Now, traditionally, emotional support animals are 
geared towards one individual, which would be my partner. Um, not that she would not come up to me and offer that same comfort to me. I am assured of that. Um, but primarily it would be, she would be for him. Uh, now, since I wanted her as a working dog, a working little person, as it were, uh, and we didn't, we did not even get to that point. I mean, she got down sit, she got down up, um, she, she had those down pat. She started to get no, she, she started to get come here, uh, and she called every time on the day that she died, she came every time that my partner called for her. Um, she was very much into helping and being where we were. And I think a lot of that was that, you know, she wanted to be near her human, which was my, my partner, my boyfriend. Um, so the night that she died, I had the hard decision because my boyfriend being by himself for these two weeks with only the cats who, you know, the, they're cats. They, the, even though they give a lot of emotional support, they do not, um, accompany the mental capacity that a dog does or a puppy does, especially jelly will come to you you know, on and off when she wants to be petted and whatnot. And she's actually, you, y'all, she is on top of this box, just like staring at me. And yeah, but she will come to, you know, primarily me and she will come lay on my lap whenever I'm, you know, sitting down or laying down or something like that. She doesn't necessarily come to me whenever um, I need emotional support when I need a hug. She doesn't like be being picked up, but she does like being next to me whenever I am in the witchy room. Witchy things are what she is here for. You know, she is, she is totally there for it. Um, Karen, on the other hand, she's a daddy's girl. Again, he's daddy, I'm papa. And I love being papa. You know, I, I kind of said, you know, I, I want to be known as Papa. So, anyway. She is a daddy's girl. And even though she is a daddy's girl, she doesn't do the whole, like, hey, you're feeling bad, let me come over. She's very much an independent girl. And update on her, while I'm doing a special report, is... That she has had, uh, she, she had what is called pyrometra, which is a uterine infection. So an infection in her uterus. Uh, they did get all that out. She is going for blood work. By the time you see this, she will already have had it. Hopefully I can give a, an update to that by, by the time this comes out. And maybe I'll add it in here, whatever. You'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but she has a vet visit. She also had a an infection in her bladder. So she was still on antibiotics. And they said two to three weeks, at, you know, while on antibiotics and all that stuff. You have her get a, a blood check and a, uh, a urinalysis check. So hopefully we'll see that everything comes back okay from that. And that she does not need a special diet or anything else uh, to happen there. But anyway, Karen is not an emotional support cat. Uh, while she is very comforting and whatnot, she is not interested in being a, an emotional support cat. <sighs> Which would be fantastic if she were, but she just... She wants to have her kitty hood while she's a kitty, and I don't blame her. Um, maybe eventually she will be an emotional support animal, but we'll see when the time comes. So, 
I started looking online again, and we I really wanted another palm ski. I wanted a palm ski. Um, I want to see how big they get. I want to see all the weird husky palm ski tendencies that they tend to have and, you know, see what all they can, uh, you know, all, all the joys that they can bring. So I finally found one. Well, my partner found one and texted me. He's like, what about this one? And I found one that was actually a scam, and the dog's name was Phoenix. Do not go with um, uh, your, I, th I think it's called your local breeder. Do not go with them. Uh, found out it was a scam before giving any money. Thank goodness. Um, but I love the name Phoenix. Um, as a, or a, a connection to the Phoenix the the archetype of the phoenix so, something rising from the ashes as we are also having uh when he cremated i thought it was very fitting and kind of fell in love with that dog but you know it was a scam but my partner found one and his name was lincoln and was a pomsky and i'll put a picture up uh whenever i edit this video i'll put a picture up hopefully, of Lincoln. Uh, and I looked at my partner, I said, you know, it would be great having another Pomsky. And he really likes the idea of having a boy. I prefer female dogs, but whatever. Doesn't matter to me either way. As long as if they're happy and healthy and safe and loved, which in this household they very much would be. Um... So he found Lincoln. And, you know, I contacted the breeder. Uh, this was Tuesday, Wednesday. some I think it was Wednesday that I contacted the breeder. Nice woman named Kendra. And I said to her, I said, okay, you know, you know all this stuff, you know, when, when can we pick him up and this and that? Is he still available was the first thing. And at first, he wasn't available because a person was supposed to get back to her by that night and say, hey, you know, I do or don't want this dog, blah, blah, blah. And when she said, she texts me, you know what, screw it. They're not getting back to me. Do you want them? I said, absolutely, we'll take them. No questions asked. I don't care about the money. Um, again, I've been saving up for quite a, a while now. Um to build a little nest egg, and we spent $950 on Winnie, which, unfortunately, uh, lasted less than a month. Uh, so, I was a little apprehensive about the, the, the money issue, you know, and the fragility of life, but I, I you know, that was a one-off weird situation that apparently isn't that uncommon once I looked it up and all that. And we, uh, we ended up coming up with a decision of, yes, we can, we can have him. And we drove out there on Friday to pick him up. And again, I will have a picture of Lincoln. Let me go ahead and put myself to the side here a little bit. Let's, um, just put that over this way so I can put a picture of him right here. Anyway, so we went to pick him up on Friday, and while we were there, and we, we had discussed, you know, having two dogs and found out from my partner that he was actually thinking about getting two dogs, uh, or a second dog whenever we had Winnie, and I was actually thinking the same thing, like, you know, a week or so before she died, and, you know, some something to keep her occupied and to keep her company and whatnot because a puppy is a lot of energy and him and I bo both do not always have the energy to go running around the yard and and all that and she needed somebody to play with but anyway I, I told him I said you know it you know there's a, a video of him and all that which I'll try to stick in right here
and, and, and I'll try to talk while the video is rolling. I'll, I'll, I don't know if that's possible. But if you're seeing it, then yay, it is possible to do. But there was this other dog in this video, and I, I told him on the way out, I said, yeah, and he, he said to me first, he's like, you know, I, I had a dream that, you know, she's like, you know, oh, this, this other dog, you know, the, the other one in the video, you know, it, it's, you know, for an extra, you know, $500 or something like that, you know, or for half price, you can have this other dog too. And I, he told me this on the way and I said, or the morning of, it was the morning of that he told me that. I said, well, if that were, and I told him on the way there, I said, if that were to actually happen, do you want to get the second dog? He's like, it would be nice to have something for this, uh, for Lincoln, which we wrestled with names. Uh, we did change it and I'll get to that here in a minute. And, uh, so anyway, <sighs> this is a long story. I'm sorry. But on the way, he's like, you know, it, don't wheel and deal over a dog. He's like, don't do it. And I have a tendency to be like, okay, I'm, I'm like the negotiator. Can you do this? Can you do that? How about this? Can you, can you come down on that price just a little bit? And I, I, I said, we'll see what she says. We'll see if it's, if the other one's still available, we'll see what she says, whatever. So we finally get there, it's an hour and a half drive out towards Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And, uh, we finally get there and, you know, we pull up and he's just sitting there looking at us. He is a very shy, a very, very timid, uh, like almost kind of like jelly in dog form. Uh, jelly is very timid. She's very shy. She has her cumin and that is, you know, that's her safe spot. And he's kind of like that. Very anxious, um, very skittish, but very, very loving. So her daughter is sitting there with, with the dog and with, with Lincoln and she hands him to my partner. So he's sitting there holding him and all that. And then I said, can I please, you know, so I'm holding him and all that. And I, I look at the lady, I said, you know, does he have any other siblings? Um, and she's like, well, there's one more left. And, you know, She's also a Pomsky, of course, because that's what, what he is. And she's black. And nobody, like, she had several offers, and they all fell through. Nobody wanted a black Pomsky, especially one like, that looks like her. Cause she looks more Pomeranian than uh, miniature Husky-ish. And... I, I I said, well, how much is she? Just out of curiosity. And she says, I think she's 700. I said, we'll take her. Or I, I, before even saying that, I turned to my partner. And I said, do you want to get her? He's like, kind of, yeah. I said, we'll take her. I said, I, I have $1,000 sitting in the car right now uh, for him. He He was 850. So we got a little bit cheaper of a dog than Winnie. Um, and I just pulled out a thousand dollars cause that was the quickest, easiest way to do it at the bank. Um, I said, I looked at him, I said, I have a thousand dollars in, in the car, take the keys to the car, go to an, the nearest ATM, get money out because you know, we, we split Winnie, uh, the funds and not to give you too much information on finances here, but uh, he's still on unemployment, so he's saving some of that up and, you know, using it as needed. And a lot of our bills come from my, uh, from me working, uh, at work at the storage units. But he's like, I kind of want her. And he's like, I I'll go, I'll, I'll go get money. I'll go get money. Don't worry. I said, okay, go get money. 
And uh, so he raced to the nearest ATM, got money out, and we ended up getting two dogs. Uh, one for 700, one for 850. And yeah, so 1550, which is sometimes the price of one Pomsky. And usually I do say go to uh, a shelter and adopt a dog. Um, one thing is, I adopted Coda, I adopted Jelly, I adopted uh, Houdini. Uh, Houdini was a stray. Um, we adopted uh, Karen. We are very much shelter people. But ever since I've seen a Pomsky and know the temperament of a Husky, I really wanted something that was Husky-ish to be like my Coda. And yeah, uh, we, we got... Pomskis, uh, so they have Pomeranian attributes as well, but here's Lincoln, I'll show you the pictures, I'll pop them up here, here's Lincoln, and here was Lucy, and we wrestled on names for Lincoln, because we knew we were getting him, we settled on Dobby Fox. So we still have that Phoenix element. Um, we didn't want to say Fox as because people get him would get that confused with Fox F O X instead of F A W K E S, as in the Harry Potter characters, of course. Um, and he very much acts like a Dobby, so kind of love it. Uh, and he has those big eyes that just pierce you and you can't help but love him but he is very shy very 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 timid and anxious um so we got him and that is dobby fox uh and we just call him dobby but the fox is there just as a little reminder of you know from the ashes comes love and joy and wonderful fluffiness uh and then we got Lucy, whose picture should be up here right now. And we have, I called a friend of mine because a friend of mine who is a, um, a Harry Potter fanatic and knows, and we, we have a mutual love for Harry Potter. Uh, screw the English lady, uh, and everything she stands for, but love the works, uh, and we bond over Harry Potter. So I call her up on the on the road. I said, we need another name. She's like, why? What happened? I said, you'll see and, you know, uh, open up the photo. She's like, oh my gosh, you got two. I said, yes, but we don't have a name for her yet. And my boyfriend was driving and, uh, you know, I'm sitting in the back seat with both of them. And uh, she's like, oh, I don't know. Let me think about this. She's at work she's working from home and my boyfriend yells to the back he's like tonks because tonks is awesome um and an incredible witch and you know has uh you know significance for him because she's just amazing um and i said okay well that's a good like middle name uh, he's like no just tonks I said, okay, well, she needs a middle name. So I said, what about Nymphadora Tonks? And then we just use Tonks. And Nymphadora is her ceremonial name. Uh, just like Fox is a ceremonial name for Dobby. Um, so he's like, okay, I can live with that. Because <laughs> everybody has middle names. Uh, Jelly is Jelly Ann. Uh, Karen is Karen Marie. <laughs> Houdini didn't have one. That's weird. Yeah. Um, and Coda was Min Coda, uh, was his long form name. So yes, we have now two puppies. Uh, they are not even housebroken. We lucked out with Winnie, and they had you know little tiny bladders, and lots of uh, lots of patience is needed. Meanwhile. I am already down in Dover because I, and I wanted to get these dogs before leaving. So it 
they keep my partner occupied and keeps his mind focused on, hey, I have these little things that need me right now, and uh, this needs to happen in tandem with, um, you know, different underlying issues that he has and whatnot. But give him the same type of uh, focus point that Winnie would have had for him during these two weeks. And then whenever I get back, we start training for the emotional support animal uh, part of their training. Uh, at least the simple things, because they're still babies. Um, things like up, down, or pause up, pause down, you know, sit, stay, you know, all the the, the good ones, you know, all, all the good ones. So we're going to be doing that training, a uh, little bit of training from him uh, pri or while I'm down in Dover, but um, yeah, and some potty training. A lot of potty training need, needing to happen there. But, yeah, that's, um, this is good news. Uh, the, and I wanted to make this video because this is not a replacement for Winnie. Um, it's not, like, and I know it seems this way or it can seem this way. Hopefully you guys, hopefully you all there are not thinking this of me. And, <clears throat> but this, uh, this is not a replacement animal. Um, o only in the sense of the working dog portion, not a replacement on, you know, the love and whatnot. Uh, we, we don't think of animals being replaceable that quickly. I mean, hell, it took me from March till November to agree to get a cat. So, after Coda uh, passed. Um, so, yeah, we I, I don't take the process of getting a new animal after a, a previous animal has died. I don't take that uh, easy. Uh, or I, I don't take these considerations lightly. Uh, and it's going to be a long time after Jelly goes that I can even bring myself to get another another cat. But you have a lot of years on you, so you're going to be with me for a long time. Um, so, yeah, please don't think that of, of us, because that is something that is totally not true. Um... But the the reasoning behind getting the dogs so soon is because um, of what we intend to have happen with the dogs as far as their working uh, their working portions and uh, their their working their work lives <laughs> and uh, yeah no, nothing can replace the Winnie of it all. Uh, yeah, no, nothing, nothing. We have grieved so much, and we have full-on ugly cried so much, and I don't think I can do it anymore. Uh, just because I don't think I have any more tears left in me. We just, in the mornings especially, which is, has become a, a thing, a time of when we actually would sit there and and talk before I go to work and whatnot. And, you know, we would sit there and watch her and all that and out in the yard. Especially the mornings were difficult because she would wake us up and we would go and take her out and all that. Those were especially rough, uh, especially starting out. So we would just come out and we would just start crying because of her not being there. And, um, I don't think I need to explain how much we loved Winnie and still do love Winnie. Uh, I don't think we need to explain that, but I did want to put that in there because if I didn't, I'm almost positive within the next year or so, 
somebody will watch the fair the the uh the passing of Winnie and then watch the uh the two new dogs coming in special report and they're going to be like oh wow that was quick you know cuz this all happened within a week she passed on Monday and we got the two new dogs the new, two new puppies on uh on Friday so yes I wanted to have enough time for me to bond with them at least a little bit, the most I can within, like, you know, two and a half days, you know, before I leave. But also to make sure that things were kind of settled. Yeah. So, yeah, that, that's, and I didn't want to wait until I got back from the annual tour down in Dover to actually, you know, get these, these dogs. We knew we were getting, uh, new dogs because we have jobs for them and intent on them doing certain jobs. Um, we'll see how far they get in their training and hopefully they will take to their training like, a you know, fish to water and whatnot. As of right now, I don't really know. <laughs> Um, at very least, they will be definitely a comfort to this house, uh, as we still continue to go through the grieving process. Um, they will definitely be a comfort for us, uh, and kind of be a diversion to constant downward spiral of crying and reliving and reenacting in our minds what happened that day. So, yeah, uh, definitely not a replacement, definitely not, um, and hopefully they, at very least, will be a source of love, and they've already shown that in spades. So, I'm going to, um, finish up on here, uh, because I have two little puppies that are probably outside, uh, and my partner is probably sitting there, you know, having a cigarette, being like, oh, come here, where are you? Oh my gosh, where are you? The fence is fully, fen the, the the yard is fully fenced in, to give give you all a, a an idea. The yard is fully fenced in. The day that when he died, I was out there fixing up the fence to make sure that it was all puppy proof. And, you know, there were no little gaps that she could get out of, because she tried to get out a couple times. So, I know the fence is fully fixed up for a puppy. Um, however, does not uh, mean that they're not going to try uh, to run around and, and hide and play. And, you know, since they are brother and sister, they are very much, um, you know, attached to one another. And they are each other's kind of support. She is actually the, you know, she, whenever we brought her home, or brought them home, she actually sat in between me and him and even my partner and Dobby. She sat between the, between us, um, because she was guarding him because he was scared, um, and didn't know what was happening and whatnot. And he's still a little, little frightened, a little skittish and doesn't know what to think and whatnot. And I think that will pan out in time. And I think that, in time, they will be a little less skittish, both of them, because she's a little skittish, too. She has that little Pomeranian, like, oh, 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 what are you going to do? Are you, oh, you're just petting me? Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to allow that. She's that type of of uh, of doggy. Uh, and he's more of the, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, a hand. Oh, are you? And I don't think the lady abused them, and I don't think the kids abused them, but uh, he's very apprehensive of being touched, very skittish about being touched, but once he's being touched or if we hold him, he actually will hug you and like, you know, he'll kind of like grab onto you with his, with his paws. It's so cute. And we just try to comfort him and hold him close as he does the same for us. So yeah, hopefully they attach so much to my partner. Um, they have already attached to him a lot, uh, a fair amount, 
but uh, they have not taken as well to me. Uh, you know, if I pick them up and I'm holding them, they are still very much there for it, uh, to being held and comforted and whatnot. It's not their first instinct, though, is to be held by me. They will go up to him and want to be held. So, but eventually Papa will be, uh, you know, the Papa that they, you know, love. And, and will come up to and ask for, to be picked up and whatnot. But right now, we're not there yet. We'll get there. And a lot of that's going to be spent after I come back from Dover. Um, in the meantime... Uh, this has been very, very long. I am so apolog apologetic of how long it took me to get to the point of everything. But uh, there were a lot of things that need to be said. And, um, yeah, I also need to give that update about Jelly. Or, I mean, about uh, Karen, not Jelly. Um, Jelly's just fine. She's resting up there. She's perfect. She's just wonderful. But I have to go out with... Uh, puppies and get some puppy lovin's in before I continue to pack everything up. Until next time, may you have love, hugs, and ladybugs. Bye-bye!